Okay, class, welcome back, and here are the examples we will be completing on the left-hand side of your page. Uh, the first one, we're looking for some angle measurements, and the second one is looking for some distances. So if you need to, go ahead and pause and sketch this down, and then go ahead and push play, and that's where I'm going to start right now. So let's label everything we can label for the first picture. The first one, we look up here, we're looking for ATH and the measure of angle AMT. Right here, we know that the measure of MAT is 55 degrees plus 68 degrees, and that the measure of MHT is also going to be the same based on the theorem we just did. So um, also notice that I have the diagonals drawn in and where the diagonals meet, that is at a perpendicular. So since a perpendicular means 90 degrees, you can also use all the properties of a triangle in that the sum of a triangle's angles is 180 degrees. So if one degree is 90, one degree is 68, then we can find the missing degree that goes right here in this little corner. So 180 minus 90 minus 68, and we get 22 degrees. Same thing over here, 90 degrees, 55 degrees, and we can find this missing. And I found that this is 35 degrees. Now notice that if I fold this down, since this angle and MHT are congruent to each other, that this triangle and this triangle are congruent, and this triangle on the left is congruent to this triangle below it. So 35 plus 35 will give me AMH, and 22 plus 22 will give me ATH. Okay, so 22 plus 22 is 44. We've now answered this question. If I'm looking for AMH, then 35 plus 35. And now I found the missing angles. If I move to the next one where I'm missing some sides, Notice now I have pieces of the leg of the kite, and I have a piece of the diagonal of the kite. So again, we do have a right triangle where the diagonals meet, and it's a just basic Pythagorean theorem. If I want to find x to t, here's my unknown. I have one leg of a right triangle. I have the hypotenuse of a right triangle, because that's the piece across from the 90 degrees. I can solve using Pythagorean theorem. Is going to be my unknown squared. So 169 minus 25. And I get 144 is my unknown squared, so I will have to take the square root. And from x to t is 12 units long. Remember when I take the square root, I also have to consider that it's a positive or negative 12. And since I'm dealing with a real distance on my paper, um, I only have to think about the 12. All right. Now, uh, this triangle on this side, A to X and X to H are going to be congruent because this side is congruent to this side. So I can take my 13 down right here. Now I found that this is 12, and I could solve Pythagorean theorem again, or I can realize that I now have two matching triangles. So 5 and 5 to find A to H is just 10 units. And that's all the examples we have. I hope if you have any questions, you have been writing them down, and you're ready to present them in class tomorrow. Thank you.